today we are going to learn complementary angles in trigonometry. What is complementary angles? Two angles are complementary when they add up to 90 degrees. They don't have to be next to each other just so long as the total is 90 degrees. For example, 60 degrees and 30 degrees are complementary angles. 5 degrees and 85 degrees are complementary angles. Look at these right triangles. It follows from the above definitions that theta and 90 degrees minus theta are complementary angles in trigonometry for an acute angle theta. We notice that sine 90 degrees minus theta equal to x over z and cosine theta also equal to x over z. Therefore, sine 90 degrees minus theta is equivalent to cosine theta. Cosine 90 degrees minus theta is equal to y over z. Sine theta also equal to y over z. Therefore, cosine 90 degree minus theta is equivalent to sine theta. Tangent 90 degrees minus theta equal to x over y. And cotangent theta is also equal to x over y. Therefore, tangent 90 degrees minus theta is equal to cotangent theta. So, this is the complementary angles in trigonometry. Let's look at the following examples. Two angles are complementary and one of them is four times as big as the others. What is the size of the radius of the two angles? To solve this, we let the smaller angles as x degree. The largest angle is four times the x degree. Since they are complementary, they must add to 90 degrees. So, x degree plus 4x degree is equivalent to 90 degree. So, we solve for x, we will get x is 18 degree. Therefore, the largest angle is 4 times 18 degree is equivalent to 72 degrees. For these examples, we are going to apply the concept of complementary angle to show that cosine 70 degrees divided by sine 20 degrees plus cosine 59 degrees divided by sine 31 degrees minus 8 sine squared 30 degrees is equal to 0. We start from our left hand side. At first, we are going to convert the cosine 70 degrees in the term of cosine 90 degree minus 20 degrees. We apply the same thing for the cosine 59 degree. We change to cosine 90 degree minus 31 degree. And for the sine 30 degrees, we know that it's equivalent to 1 over 2. Therefore, we are going to have minus 8 multiplied with 1 over 2 squared. Now, we are going to apply the complementary angles here. See, we know that the cosine 90 degree minus 20 degree is equivalent to sine 20 degree. So, we are going to have the sine 20 degree divided by sine 20 degree which I can simplify as 1. Same thing for a here, the cosine 90 degree minus 31 degree is equivalent to sine 31 degree. 
degree so we are going to have sine 31 degree divided by sine 31 degree which I can simplify it as 1 and for this case we are going to have equivalent to minus 2 so we are going to have the 1 plus 1 minus 2 which is equivalent to 0 therefore cosine 70 degrees divided by sine 20 degree plus cosine 59 degree over sine 31 degree minus 8 sine square 30 degree is equal to 0